are five unusual causes of PCOS that you may not have thought about, and more importantly, I have a few natural tips to really help you. Number one on my list, one of the causes could be circadian rhythm dysregulation. Now, what does this mean? This means that your circadian clock, which of course is in tune with the light and dark cycle of the day, is now dysregulated. And this, of course, is the control of all of our hormones. And this can now increase your androgens, so your testosterone, which is commonly high in PCOS, and downregulate some of the other hormones, so causing that imbalance and causing a lot of your symptoms. Okay, number two, another cause of PCOS that you may not have thought about is leptin and insulin resistance. So we know that carbohydrates are a problem, which I'll talk about, but this is really important to be balancing our blood glucose levels, but first it's usually a leptin problem. And leptin is our master regulator of our satiety as well as our hunger, our cravings for carbs, usually at all the wrong times and all the wrong places. Places. And this becomes very important to make sure that we are fixing that leptin and that insulin resistance to help as a natural way of addressing the PCOS. Okay, number three on my list, another cause is carbohydrates. Now we know that too many carbohydrates and spiking that blood glucose levels, spiking our insulin levels, is a causative factor when we're talking about PCOS. So it's really important to limit the carbohydrates, especially the refined ones, because that is one of the causative factors for this condition. Okay, number four on my list is EMFs, electromagnetic fields, and I'm talking about the non-native ones, the unnatural ones, the man-made EMFs. This is your cell phone, this is wire. Wi-Fi, this is cell phone towers, this is electronics that you are inundated with in your environment, really does dysregulate your proper hormone balance. And also that blue light, so artificial light that you're under all day, also significantly raises blood glucose levels. So you don't even need to eat the carbohydrates to spike your blood sugar because of all the toxic blue light in your environment. And number five, another cause for PCOS is liver toxicity. So again, those circadian clocks, which again, with your circadian rhythms needs to be in sync with nature, with the light and dark, usually the cooler evenings and nights and the warmer days. This is all signaling to your body and to your hormones the proper functioning and it's like a concert. And when all those hormones become dysregulated, this is when everything is out of tune. So we have to tune that body back up again, especially if you have that PCOS, here are my tips, and I've got three of them. Okay, number one, you want to follow Mother Nature's prescription. Now, you may have heard me talk about this in other videos, making sure that you're getting grounded, making sure that you're seeing that early morning sunlight, making sure that you're getting enough natural sunlight exposure on your skin, building up your melanin, this becomes really important for your hormone production and also breakdown is reliant on getting enough of that melanin in your skin. Okay, number two on my list is avoid those EMFs. This goes without saying, and that blue light toxicity. You wanna get under natural light as much as possible and avoid the synthetic light, that artificial light, especially that screen time is gonna send the wrong signaling in terms of your circadian rhythms into your eyes, into your brain, signaling the wrong time of day, and this will offset the normal secretion of your hormones throughout the day and night. And number three, another tip for PCOS is to focus more on, of course, healthy proteins and fats and limit those carbohydrates as much as possible. I know it can be really difficult if you love carbs, but this is gonna go a long way to help to balance your blood glucose and your leptin levels, helping with that PCOS. Now I have another video and I want you to check it out. More tips for PCOS, I've got seven of them in this this video, seven tips for PCOS. I'll see you there.